Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down arena, and we are going to be... What the frick is going on with my hair? Gotta have the hair look good. We are going to be jumping back into rank play, but we are going to be starting with a new deck this week. We're splashing some green. We're going into Simic, running the Nikachu deckless, plus a few changes. I'll go over them really quick with you guys. Uh, so we're splashing green now, we're playing Simic build, we added in Mistbinder and Skydiver to help our evasion out and to help buff our team so we can get in for that extra bit of damage early on. Um, we've got our Breeding Pools, Hinterlands, Unclaimed Territories, and Ten Islands for our mana base. I uh, don't think C4 Oracle needs four copies of in the deck. Uh, one difference between me and Nikachu's deck list. I think three is a good number uh, for him to be at. And he had Silver... Um, Shaper's Apprentice in the deck, uh, but he did say that he thinks River Sneak might be something he'll try out uh, for better evasion on that. I still think River Sneak is going to be the best bet with Deep Root Waters and stuff, so I have three River Sneaks in there over the Shaper's Apprentice. We've got the rest of the gang here from the Mono Blue build. In case you haven't noticed, this is Mono Blue uh, with a splash of green. So Benthic, Mist Cloak, three River Sneaks, Silvergill Adepts, Merfolk Trickster, Mist Binder, Skydiver, Charter Course. Deeper Waters, C4 Oracle, Sideboard right now, pretty happy with it. I think uh, Nikachu's suggestion in his video he uploaded a few days of including Water Trap into the Sideboard is legitimate. So we took out the Kazminas, we put in the Water Trap Weavers, we've got our Transmutations, our Negates, and our Wizards Retort. I think it looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, so let's, let's see how we can do with this thing. Test it out uh, once or twice before. Did pretty good with the deck. It was going wide like it needed to. Um, still not able to pull through a win. There's still a lot of removal. They just have answers to our board really easily. We went up against uh, Grixis Amass. Just too many answers in that Amass deck. Uh, they just wipe our board way too easily with those things. People are starting to play Narset uh, in the Grixis, Grixis Amass deck. Uh, which doesn't help us in our card draw. It lets you only draw one card per turn for its static ability, so we had to deal with that a few times. <clears throat> sure. This isn't a super ideal hand. River Sneak. If we're going up against Mono Red, pretty vulnerable to stuff here. Alright, Instigator. So it begins. The beatdown. Uh, we'll lead with the Silvergill Adept. We'll show him the other Silvergill. No blocks. Take two. I think we're just going to chart a course here. Alright, that helps us out quite a bit. So let's, uh, let's dump our extra island. And we can set up for River Sneak into Mistbinder next turn. Try to get about out of range of at least, uh, well, it's not out of range of anything, let's be honest. <laughs> what is this? Sacrifice, destroy a target artifact. Oh, and it's a lord. So we're taking the beating. Is this mono red or is this, uh, goblins? Oh, man, I do not want to take life from this breeding pool, though. Hmm. We kind of have to, though. We're not going to play River Sneak yet. Show him Skydiver. Mm -mm, we're not going to attack in. We're just going to pass. Try to make some trades. Ah, 
That sucks. Well, we're gonna get rid of this trash master, that's for sure. And we'll, uh... We'll take four. Hmm, okay. Deep Root Waters is definitely gonna have to go down here. And we're gonna play Skydiver. No attacks. We're on the defense right now. A little bit. Oh, lovely. Well, that's why he uh, didn't care if that guy got killed, I guess. good position. I block Siege Gang. He just sack. You know, he can't sack him right now. Okay. Then I guess we're gonna go here. Drop quite a bit. Not good. We have to run out the board again. We need to be able to block. Uh, Okay, well, we're going to lose some stuff. Yep. So, we've got to double block here, block here, block here. here lock here yep not pretty they'll probably try to take out one of our skydivers oh right it's after okay so their board is clear now so why did they do that? Hmm. Okay. Well, then we're going to take the opportunity to get some card draw. Even out the playing field a little bit. Oh, man. So many cards. Okay. Well, we'll beef our team a little bit more. Pass to you. I don't know why they really went hard on that attack. Uh, don't know what they were expecting with that. Sure. It's not getting through. You got a lot of work to do now. Uh, I'm going to do this just in case. I don't know what else they're doing here, but <laughs> just in case. 
Okay, so... Sure, okay. Go to game two. We went wide pretty well there. I like it. So, mono red goblins, huh? Oh, what's going to be good against these goblins? Maybe a transmutation to deal with those lords. Take out a couple charter course. No, I want I want silver gap adept in. What am I looking to do here? Take out a sea floor. And we'll take out an island. I can live with this. I think this is I think this will be good. Alright, let's see if we can close out the game. Okay. Yep. Keep this. Need to get our green source. So we're playing a uh, fast deck versus another fast deck. Instigator off the rip? No? Alright. Probably brought in some removal, I'm guessing. It's almost why I wanted to lead with Ben. Yeah. Okay. There's the instigator. Drop both her bends. No blocks. There's Hinterland. Fantastic. Uh, 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 yep. Start bringing our own heat. Go to Seafloor Oracle next turn. Should be pretty good. I think their Lord costs three mana, right? Pass in the turn. Okay. Just attack in with the bends. Block both, block one. All right, we'll get a card draw. I feel pretty good about our position right here. Chart of course, all right. Gonna swing in. Pump up our bend. See what we can get here. Deep root. All right. Uh, so I think I think we'll get rid of our chart, of course, because we're about to get plenty of cards out right now. Pass the turn with Trickster up. Seal the deal here. Mistbinder was a huge help in the last uh, matches I tested this with. So, 
Uh, I don't know what they're what they're gonna do here, but okay, they're just gonna give up. Good game. All right, Mono Red Goblins, not enough for Simic Merfolk. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think about the deck. Uh, any changes you would make. I'm taking any any advice. I'm just kind of running the net decks and what the Nikachu lists are, since he probably knows best. Uh, he is the, the Merfolk master after all. So if you guys enjoyed the video and want to see more of the Simic build, which I do think has a little bit more stronger potential, maybe than Mono Blue. Depends. Depends on what we're up against, I guess. But if you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. Let me know what you would change on the deck or the sideboard. And we will see you in the next video. See ya.